Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Dragon Ball Nation. Today I'm going to do a quick video. Uh, you can probably kind of already assume what it is from the title, maybe, I don't know. Uh, anyways, uh, Rhyme Style and Thundershot, they did a video, I think it was the uh, yesterday or the other day. And I want to touch upon it, uh, nothing, you know, to insult them at all, because it's not, it's, it's basically in favor of their video. They were given an update on the Budokai Tenkaichi HD remake that uh, everyone really already knows about. And... I'm a little bit upset with the community. I'm not surprised, really, because the community is kind of uh, ignorant at times, and it's not to directly insult people. I'm sure everyone has seen those ignorant people. I'm not, I'm not afraid to say that. I mean, there are some ignorant people in the community. And what I mean by this is those guys are doing great work trying to get you know support for the game. I wasn't the hugest Tank Catch 3 fan. Uh, I like the game. Uh, I'm, not w I'm not hoping we're going to get this remake 100%, because, you know, I would like it to happen to support Dragon Ball and all, all the whole franchise and all that. As well as, you know, give income to Namco Bandai to produce more Dragon Ball Z games that are original. The problem I have with the community is they seem to not know anything about game development. When they, they, they talk about game development like they know it, but they don't know anything about it. I know quite a bit about, you know, how games operate and how manufacturing goes. Um, I work in retail and all that stuff. And I, I do know about game development and the structure of how sales go out. And what kind of effort needs to be put into them. And I'm coming from a position where I'm seeing people say, Oh, I'd rather have Burst Limit 2 or I'd rather have uh, Infinite World 2 or Infinite World HD. Two things about Infinite World. One, Infinite World didn't sell very well. And two, a lot of people love that game. Probably more people didn't like it or found it a pointless game because a lot of people said it was just like Budokai 3, which I disagree. I don't think it was like Budokai 3 very much at all. But... Uh, we're not going to get an Infinite World 2, I can guarantee that, and we're never going to get an Infinite World HD because it wouldn't be very successful. Uh, Infinite World 2 is a little bit touchier, but the thing about making sequels to games like Raging Blast 3 people were asking for, Bersama 2, Infinite World 2, Budokai 4, the difference is, is that the development time for those games are substantially more, and here's the thing, if they're doing an HD remake, guys, they're more than likely going to get the same guys that did the Budokai uh, HD collection, which is a completely different development studio, who takes like you know very little uh, time out of Namco Bandai's schedule to do that, other than keeping them updated and them checking out the game. Uh, it doesn't cut into any development time from the other developers. It didn't cut any. It didn't cut any time into Xenoverse's time to do the uh, Budokai HD collection, which came out in 2012. And Xenoverse has been developing for quite a few years, so it could have been development at that time or in its planning stages. And another thing is, no one was against Budokai HD. Uh, so you guys that are saying Tenkai 3. HD is worthless and unnecessary, is pretty ignorant, and it's a little bit disappointing and disheartening to see that in the community, especially when we need such a nice community of, you know, very uh, like-minded people in the Dragon Ball community to get together and be friendly, but it is the internet, so what are you going to expect? But I don't understand, you guys are being so selfish when you say you don't want Budokai Tenkaichi 3. Like I said, I'm not the hugest Tenkaichi fan, but what's wrong with seeing some work on the side that's not going to get in the way of any development schedules? To put out a game that's going to help, you know, the franchise of Dragon Ball prosper and continue to bring us games that we want to see. The new games like, uh, you know, maybe a Burst Limit 2, which will probably never happen, but, uh, you know, more titled Xenoverse 2, but Xenoverse did very well in sales. Uh, but you guys are, no one complained about Budokai HD. And there's these people that say we don't need Tenkai 3 HD, and it's so weird because it's almost hypocritical. Uh, Budokai Tenkai 3 is as popular, if not more popular, than Budokai 3. And to be quite honest, I've heard people say that it's going to be a lazy HD job for Tank H3. The people not know how actually kind of piss poor the Budokai 3 HD collection was. Uh, they did change the music, which is okay. I don't care. I understand why they changed the music. I'm just saying, uh, the menus are still, uh, the aspect ratios on the menus in the Budokai HD collection are messed up still. Uh, I might even have Budokai 3 gameplay here. I haven't played that game forever. I'll have to hook up my Xbox. Uh, you know, the, the HD job was decent, but it only really showed off in Budokai 3. They kind of did a lazy job on Budokai 1. Um, you know, they took out some features. Uh, some of the features were taken out. Some of the uh, extended stuff. And it wasn't a very good HD. It was very bare bones uh, project. And if you guys in the comments are really against Tenkai 3, I want you to give me three good reasons of why we shouldn't have it and I want good ones because if they're not good I'm gonna comment back to you and tell you you know what you need to say to me to tell me if you're just gonna say we don't need it because it's unnecessary that's not a good point give me a legitimate argument to why we don't need this and maybe you'll change my mind 
But the way I see it is it's not going to cut into any development time, really, and it's not going to sidetrack for anything. It's going to be very low cost to make this game, and the income coming back is going to be very great. The gross, the revenue is going to be immense for this, and I don't see why anyone should be against this, and that is my rant for today, I guess. I, I guess I'm doing rants now, but hopefully no one was offended by this, and if you were, I guess that kind of sucks. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.